Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we're just going to bring you some brief Linux Mint updates. Of course, Linux Mint always releases the uh, a, a blog post with uh, the summary updates, things they're working on at the beginning of each month. Usually I cover this. I'm about a week or so late, uh, but some other developments have shown up that are related to that. So I thought I'd go ahead and get this guy out to you now. So we're going to first jump on over to the Linux Mint blog. We'll look at the August 2023 monthly news, which comes out in September. I've never quite figured out why they do the, um, the news this way, but, you know, you figure it comes out September 1st. I'd call it September, but, you know, why break from tradition? They talk about the donations are running strong, which is very good. Uh, we need to keep that up, uh, not just Linux Mint, but every software that you're using, you know, if they're not charging you for it, you know, look what you could possibly give to them because otherwise you'd be buying software from big companies that might be doing unscrupulous things with your money. Uh, at least these guys, the money goes towards helping them uh, resolve issues and helping them to, uh, you know, keep doing what they're doing without having to go out and get themselves a regular day job. Now he gets on to the actual news. You might be wondering what is coming next and what order. Uh, they were planning two releases, LMDE 6 and Linux Mint 21 to Edge. Now, LMDE 6 is the latest Debian build um, based on, you know, the current release Debian that just came out um, uh, a couple months ago. And uh, this LMDE 6 is going to take that, merging it with the latest updates in Cinnamon and get probably one of the best versions of LMDE we've ever seen. This is almost like, hmm, maybe I should think about jumping like soon. I don't know. Um, we'll consider it. And uh, the Edge, uh, Mint 21.2 Edge, of course, 21.2 already dropped. The Edge is one with a, uh, a more current kernel, which supports more recent hardware. This has always been one of the things about Linux Mint is it does have a wide variety of support with a lot of stability. This is because they use older kernels that have almost all the bugs worked out of them. But for people running the latest and greatest hardware, you need something a little bit more current. And so they are working on that edge release for 21.2, which is going to come out pretty soon. Uh, of these uh, to update, uh, also is they're updating their ISO production framework, basically allowing them to see what the changes are and monitor those changes quicker. Uh, but this change in production is actually going to fix Secure Boot. I don't know if this has been backrolled to Ubuntu yet, but Linux Mint has figured out how to get Secure Boot fixed. So that is going to be rolling out very soon. So if you are looking to have a computer with Secure Boot functioning, Linux Mint looks like it will have that solved. I have not heard if Ubuntu has yet solved the Secure Boot issue or not. But the Secure Boot problem is something wrong with Ubuntu which has been rolled down to every distribution downstream of it. Linux Mint has been working on a fix for it. Now, they were trying to figure out which one of these they wanted to do first, but after a little bit of uh, maneuvering around, LMDE 6 is ready to enter the beta. And let's just go ahead and jump over because as of today, uh, September 11th, Linux Mint Debian Edition is now available for the beta testing. So you who are, are interested in that, um, I did not grab it just because I'm, I'm kind of out in the middle of uh, the bayou right now. I don't have the best download internet. So I'm going to wait until I move back into the city to grab a copy of the beta. Or who knows, maybe I'll just wait, wait a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so, and just download the official. Haven't decided yet. Uh, let me know in the comments, should I do a look at the public beta or should we just wait for the full release. This version is based on Debian 12 Bookworm, available with the Cinnamon desktop environment. They do not make it with the XFCE and Mate options, um, but it does have a lot of fun features to it. Uh, first and foremost, it is the um, uh, it has the LTS Linux 6.1 kernel. And it features Cinnamon 5.8 desktop, which was just introduced with 21.2, which to me looks like it's going to be one of the better of the Cinnamons. I want to play around with it a little bit more to know for sure. Um, I think that actually might be what I'm running on my Endeavor system. I don't know. We'll see. 
They're also changing this one to use pipe wire for the first time. So uh, those who are interested in pipe wire, of course, that is the standard now on Debian, so it makes sense. But now they are looking at pipe wire as the default backend. Now he had mentioned in his newsletter at the beginning of September that they were looking at pipe wire, but it was not yet tested. Apparently it tested and works fine because they're using it. This might actually solve the one bug I've had and many other people have had with Linux Mint over the years is audio issues. This might actually solve that. So we'll see what happens with that. Improved support for Flatpak apps and a global dark mode setting to support GTK4 apps. So in addition to the release comes with a new look and feel that's uh, related to the new cinnamon changes and they have um, their um, uh, their full support for HEIF and AVIF images inside of the Cinnamon desktop. The GTHUM, let's see, uh, let's see, which one was it? One of them now supports uh, the Adobe Illustrator documents. The Pix, Pix Image Viewer app supports uh, Adobe Illustrator documents now. So if you have .ai files, uh, that's not artificial intelligence, that's Adobe Illustrator. Um, who knows what the difference is at this point in time, but those are now viewable on the Pix Image Viewer app without having to worry about installing something like uh, Inkscape is what you used to have to do to come with that. Software Manager app comes with refreshed UI uh, better scoring and sorting algorithms and a better tuned package list available for download. So you can go ahead and try that out. They have 64 and 32 bit system support. So go ahead and give that a try. Let me know if I need to download it when I go on into a city, which will be the end of the week. So there is your update to Linux Mint and uh, your uh, announcement that LMDE 6 uh, is now in beta testing. So you can go ahead and do that. I am very excited about this. I cannot wait to test this out. And who knows, as I've said, the next build that I have to rebuild my operating system, I'm probably going to be switching to the LMDE base. I don't see there's a specific reason I need to stay on the Ubuntu version. So we'll test it out. And who knows, maybe we pick up an extra drive and slowly start a migration process. I don't know. So let me know your thoughts about all of these in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.